morning everybody RV prepper this Wayne here today I'm fixing a complete total mess this gentleman went to Harvey's RV in Bangor Maine to have solar installed and an inverter well seven thousand dollars later nothing was right improper equipment improper wire connections improper size wire everything was completely wrong so i've had to go back and redo almost everything on here except for the panels and the internal charge controller but the connections for the charge controller i've had to redo out here what he has is four six volt deep cycle batteries wired in series and parallel anytime you hook up an inverter or charge controller you never hook up to one series bank you tie in the whole series they didn't do that they had this inverter that's up there positive and negative wired to these two batteries nothing else was wired to it other than a jumper wire it went from this battery from this set of batteries out to this set of batteries well this is the size wire that they used number two well we put in uh four aught in there that's what they use for a jumper when his inverter is running it's pulling all the power from these batteries and nothing really from the others. The charge controller was hooked up to these two batteries alone, not the other batteries. You kind of see where I'm going with this. So what we've had to do is the positive for the charge controller comes out here. I've rerun the wire inside to the other set of batteries. The inverter, I run the positive to the inside batteries because that's where the fuse is. The negative, I run out to the negative out here like it's supposed to be. And also, I run new wires from the batteries out here to the inside to the new jumpers. Proper size wire. Fixing the possible fire hazard with this now you see these other wires here and you're like Wayne what are you doing with 8 gauge wires well he's going to be adding another charge controller to this system and we're going to put it in a box and mount it over here that's what these wires are for also this is the solar side. Also, I have to run the battery side over here. And we're going to properly wire the charge controller to run the positive and negative out here. I know, that's real confusing. Trust me, when it, I looked at it, I, my jaw dropped. That was a fire hazard. That's improper wiring. What he wanted was a inverter charger in here so everything would power up. They claimed that it was too hard to wire that in. But yet, they was able to run two plugs inside. One in one wall, one in another wall. And run an outlet over here in a slide out that's a lot more work having to go through the walls and everything else just as it would have been so much simpler easier and cheaper and correct if they would have run the correct charge controller that the customer requested and done it right he spent seven thousand dollars getting this done that's parts and labor. Yes, I, I've seen the bill, $7,000.
So, if you're ever around Bangor, Maine, and you go over to Harvey's RV, do yourself a favor. Don't let them wire your stuff up. Go somewhere else. A lot of RV dealerships are not familiar with solar stuff. If you're going to be installing solar and electrical stuff, you're better off finding somebody that knows what they're doing instead of a general, I know what I'm doing. Find somebody that specializes in this type of setup. They can get it done and get it done correctly. So with that being said, the uh, only thing left for me really to do is wire in for this charge controller. This is going to be fused on the battery side and the solar side. Put an, a plug out here so he can add a suitcase solar setup so he can put out here. That's why we're installing the second charge controller. First one is not going to handle the power. So I'm going to get a little bit more into this and then I'll kind of show you that everything's going to work everything's going to be a lot better later on we're going to pull this inverter out and we're going to wire it in with a correct inverter where everything works and he will be much happier so let me get into getting some stuff done and then i'll show you when i kind of get finished up but like i said when they use this kind of wire for for jumpers for batteries for a 3000 watt inverter that's stupid we got four gauge we got eight gauge for the charge controller and the solar setup so let me get it finished up here and kind of show you what i've got all right i have everything done now covers back on everything everything seems to be working it's charging let me show you how i did for the what I call the external charge controller which is one here in the side box what I did was I took a battery box cut it in an angle I have it strapped down here it's not going nowhere with the external charge controller for the panels that he can mount outside on the ground to fold up panels I have my wires all tied up the inverter now with the ground actually goes to the front batteries the positive goes to these batteries here so it's actually pulling on all four batteries now instead of mainly just the two both charge controllers are set up to charge both banks equally so all of this is wired back up now hook back up correctly with the correct size wire but we have everything wired correctly with the correct size wire all the wires run fastened down like they're supposed to he should not have any problem he's going to be able to tell tonight once he runs the inverter how everything works with the battery drops and everything else so now he'll have a better idea of battery usage and everything but I have him all completed I know he is extremely happy now knowing it's done correctly makes me happy questions comments please like and subscribe give me that thumbs up and I will see you all in the next video